Hey everybody, I know it's been a very long time. I'm still here, I'm still doing things. Um, the garden was almost an utter failure. Only got uh, probably about two or three meals out of it. All that hard work and sweat and we were just under such a hard drought and without running water and without it raining, we just weren't getting, I'm trying to get some light here, okay. We just weren't getting what we needed to get, um, nutrition-wise. I got things ripped out and pulled up. I got very few tomatoes. I think I got like six or seven tomatoes, about five or six okra. Um, about 17 bush beans and my red beans never did anything. I got about four or five strawberries off my strawberries that I planted. Uh, I have them covered up and winterized until next winter. I mean, until next season, next spring, whenever I can uncover them. And see if I get anything better next year. Uh... Haven't really been doing too much around the homestead. Just been mainly working and surviving. Um, we haven't put any more insulation up. We haven't, haven't done a lot of things. Although in October, I did get on an airplane for the first time. I flew down to Louisiana to see my mom and my kid, my oldest, who stayed put. Um, really missed them. God, I've really missed them. But anyways, I just figured I'd jump on here real quick and just kind of show y'all what's going on. Um, I've been at the same job for about three months now, four months, something like that. Um, all of my budgeting is empty. I don't have anything left. Uh, so I'm about to start getting really really diligent back on the budgeting and making it through the winter so that we can start again next spring. So hopefully I get the weather cooperates next year and I get more water, uh, more rain and my garden will be more fruitful. Um, I believe my apple trees have passed on. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm leaving them in place until um, next spring and see if I get any life on them. I don't know if they just went dormant early because of the drought or if the drought killed them off. But both apple trees look horrible. Uh, my plum trees are doing okay and my peach trees doing okay. I harvested my potatoes and it was laughable. I was able to fit all of my potatoes in one hand out of, after planting, what, 30 pounds of potatoes? 20, 30 pounds? Something like that? 40 pounds? I don't even remember anymore. I have to go back and look. But um, it was laughable. Literally a handful of potatoes, and that was it. But here we are, the end of October. Hubby's birthday was yesterday. And it's the end of my few days off. Uh, I'll be getting paid tomorrow, but y'all won't be seeing me budget that because it's pretty much gone already. Hopefully next week, the beginning of November, whenever I get my first paycheck in November, hopefully I'll be able to get back into budgeting. Um, but as of now, this is Tasha with Sylvester Homestead. I love y'all. 
and I'm back. <laughs> so I'll keep y'all updated on this one. Or we just have to clean up the chicken coop. Um, I'm not sure if y'all saw how big Elton has gotten. He's my one surviving turkey out of the five turkeys I bought. And most of my older flock is gone to predators. And a lot of my babies are now gone. I ended up with two roosters that made it to adulthood. And now I'm down to one because Rusty has disappeared. He left sometime in this last week. He disappeared. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of chicken hawks flying around. So I'm thinking that might be what's getting them. Uh, Elton is my one surviving turkey. I have everything I need to get a hunt license this year, so you might be coming on me some deer hunting. Probably pull that out of some of the money I can make it paid tomorrow. Uh, get me an all-around hunt license, fish license, and then get me a couple deer tags. Maybe a turkey tag or two. I do have Elton. He might call me in some females, so I might end up with a turkey or two husband doesn't quite want to process him yet so i'll probably keep him around for a couple of years and see if he brings in some girls if he brings in some ladies then that'll be good enough for me and we'll keep him around he'll be worth feeding but if he doesn't then he's dinner anyways i'm gonna give you a quick update let y'all know that i'm still here i'm still alive and we're still on this journey uh we've just went from doing things to just surviving so here we are surviving love you bye